MLB The Show has made it so Battle Royale drafts are all free and as you can see in the top left there's only diamond rounds for the moment in Battle Royale and today we're just going to be trying out this new draft system kind of seeing what type of team we can get try one or two drafts unless we just fall in love with that first team and I'm trying to get a feel for if anybody out there is interested in seeing some MLB The Show gameplay so maybe 100 likes on this video and we'll go ahead and try to start getting a 12 and 0 run going with an all diamond team in br maybe for tomorrow's video again 100 likes on this video just let me know drop a like if there's anybody out there that's actually interested and seeing some MLB The Show gameplay. What I want to do first is just see how nasty of a lineup I can get. And then maybe the second draft. I kind of want to do at least two drafts today. I almost want to see if I could get an all switch hitting diamond team. I also don't know is every round going to be a 99. Will there be some that are lower overall? I'm not too sure what to expect. But we got Miguel Cabrera at first. And already... This 99 Ryan Howard's going to be my DH. And so here's our first round that does not have a 99 overall. So that makes me want to grab maybe a lefty, maybe somebody in the bullpen right there. But then this is even lower. I haven't seen anybody do this. I haven't tried this myself, so I'm really not sure what to expect from these drafts. I guess I could grab Vita Blue, a lower overall starter. And some we're back to 99s now. And for me, it's a no-brainer. I'm choosing the World Series MVP, Corey Seager. He's going to be this team's shortstop. I'm not even sure if we'll end up playing a game with this team, but I'm excited to see at the end of these 26 rounds what this team actually looks like. 92 overall, we'll grab a starting pitcher. Some more 99s. I almost want my lineup to try to be all 99s if that's possible. I love Joe Maurer's swing. We'll use this set to Joe Maurer as this team's catcher. 97 overall not 99s grab another starting pitcher that's kind of what i'm doing right here jake peavy or chris martin in the pen i haven't used this card but live series chris martin is always one of my go-to br relievers this year so we'll grab him in the pen trevor hoffman can you use captain boost in br i would assume no i would have to guess that's probably not a thing i'm gonna put trevor hoffman on that team's bullpen anyways and if there was any round where I was thinking about trying to maybe not have a 99 overall position player, I think it might be the Team USA Kyle Schwarber. The thing is, I don't really want him in left field. We've already got a DH. I guess maybe I could put Miggy at third base or even left or right field, but I'm probably going to grab starting pitcher number four right there. We're back to some 99s. Best third baseman in baseball, no brainer right here. Nolan Arenado going on this team. And I think live series Garrett Cole is going to finish off this BR team's rotation. I am interested to see if they let me get an all 99 lineup. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. We'll grab Ken Giles for the bullpen, another righty. I do love Lou Brock. I do love this version of Juan Soto. Still trying to get some all 99s. Maybe we'll end up doing the bench and the position players last, depending on the rounds they give us. That's my fourth righty for the pen. And here's 99 Willie Mays. And it's kind of crazy to me that it took from set two with this version of Willie Mays all the way until that retro finest. I don't remember set five whenever it was to get the other one. But hey, we have 99 Willie Mays in this team's lineup. I was hoping to maybe try to have four lefties, four righties in the pen. Right now, it's looking like that might not happen. We'll grab Luis Cesar right there. I do love Lou Brock. I really enjoy this card. He's been great for me. Pretty big sample size. Pretty high average. 559, some homers. 1088 slugging percentage. He's doing pretty good, but we're not going to have him on this team. Not yet. I don't think I'm ending up using this team anyways. Because, wait, they want me to draft him. They literally just keep sticking him in these rounds like, hey, you need this card. Draft this card. But we're not drafting that card. Maybe if he pops up again. Did I ever use this Juan Soto? I was going to say, I don't think I ever used this Dominican Republic Team World Baseball Classic Juan Soto. That sounded like a mouthful to me. But either way, the set one Juan Soto from the WBC, I never used him. Fran Mil Reyes, I'm pretty sure I used him. 857? 3429 OPS? Oh, that's versus the CPU. <laughs> I didn't even realize that, but we'll grab Fran Mil for right now. I'm not using this team anyways. Catal Marte, there's a switch hitter. I was thinking my second draft right after this one, I kind of wanted to try to get an all switch hitting lineup. 
I only have one switch hitter on this team, so it might be kind of difficult. Michael Young, there's a 99 for the bench. Wait a second. I mean, I have Nolan Arenado. He could play first base. Miggy could play third. And then Adam Wainwright could play DH. And then, yeah, I don't know, man. If I was actually using this team, I probably wouldn't get Wayno. I did like him. Six homers with the card, a pretty good average. I enjoyed using him in ranked seasons when I did. And Raul Labanias has got a great swing. I've always been a fan of Willie McCovey's swing. I'm going to grab Raul Labanias right here. And then, let's see, no 99s. Byron Buxton for the bench, sure, why not? And then Mookie Betts, one of my favorite cards. It's crazy because this version of Mookie Betts, you all see 393 average, 38 homers, 1093 slugging, 1515 OPS. I started, I think, 0 for my first 20 with this card. Maybe 1 for my first 30, just something terrible. And the fact that he's picked himself up like this, it's crazy with the start that he had, so... If we were actually using this team, he would probably be that starting right fielder. Maybe put him at second base or something. And I'm really interested to see. I kind of hope y'all hit 100 likes on this video. Because now this has me wanting to actually play some games. And see what the games are looking like. Since it's still all-star difficulty. I imagine a lot of people still using high elevation ballparks. You're probably seeing a ton of runs scored. And these new Battle Royale games with all diamond teams. The one counter to that, though, is you do have all diamond pitchers. Wait a second. 17,000 stubs for a Nike sponsorship? Okay. Hey, I didn't have that. I'll take it. But you're probably seeing a ton of high-scoring games. Unless the pitchers maybe offset that a little bit. Since you do have the diamond starters and a full diamond bullpen, too. Now, I don't think this is something that I would want to see from BR year-round, but in MLB 24, this has me hoping that we see more, maybe time-limited, just fun events, see them trying new things, changing up modes, rather than just having it be the same. I remember in MLB The Show 16, when they first added BR, you needed to get to 20 wins, but ever since MLB 17... BR really hasn't changed much. I know they have done free entries a few times. I think they changed it up to Hall of Fame difficulty a few times. But really, it's been the same mode. And I think it's always fun when they try new things. Now, my goal for this draft, if we can, I want to get an all-switch hitting lineup. There's no switch hitters in this round. So I'm probably just going to go with a bullpen or a starter. Logan Webb, one of my go-to starting pitchers last year, didn't use any of his cards that much this year. So I'll grab Duran out of the bullpen. I did like him as a reliever. And that's weird. Three starting pitchers in one round. Wait, that's weird to see. I don't like Walter Johnson. He has about a two, three minute long windup. So we'll go somebody else. I'm a pretty big Mike Mussina fan since they added him to the game. And there is our first switch hitter. Josh Bell, technically up to a 99 since we got him at parallel two versus cpu is only i have not used him versus online wow i'm really surprised i never tried that card online i guess i was using them to grind out maybe the team affinity for season three but there's our first switch hitter i'm not liking that our second switch hitter i like i love jonah heim i love jonah heim cards i'm not really liking that it would be an 85 overall version but i'm a little bit scared if i were to draft maybe wait there's no pitchers so they give us three pitchers in one round and then this round has zero well i guess i'm choosing the switch hitter no matter what but i was hoping we would maybe see a different version of jonah heim later on and now we got one pitcher here so we'll grab cliff lee i guess that's fine with me a couple pitchers here let's do austin cox in the bullpen Ian Happ, ooh, it's only the 94 version, what is that, throwback, is that MLB 18 Future Stars? I want to say this is the card art from MLB 18, the Future Stars from that year, but either way, Ian Happ, a beautiful swing here in MLB The Show, and there's our third switch hitter, so far actually pretty good, some good swings, I, I just kind of wish they were all 99 versions of everybody, I'm not sure if Ian Happ has a 99, I think he does, I want to say it was one of the flawless, or not flawless, yeah, like one of the 12 win ones or something from events, something like that. And we'll get Greg Holland, our second righty in the pen. No switch hitters here. Tim Jim, I used him a decent amount, sure. There's another lefty for the pen. They really want me to draft Kyle Schwarber. 
And I think literally today, just maybe a few hours ago, new Cardinal, Brandon Crawford. I don't think I ever thought I would see the day that Brandon Crawford was a St. Louis Cardinal. And so this says he's 36. So does that mean he's probably going to be 37 this year? I, I don't know if it's a one-year deal. I don't remember off the top of my head what it was, but hey. We have the newest Cardinal, Brandon Crawford, going into this BR team's bullpen. Looking for a switch hitter. We don't see one right here. Mad Bum. Used this card, not a ton. I used him for one inning. And I think he just gave up one homer, a solo shot. But maybe he'll redeem himself if we give him a chance on this team. Same thing with Jonah Heim. I would have loved a 99 version of Ketel Marte. Instead, I guess we're grabbing the 85 overall version. And same thing with Jose Ramirez. Would have loved the 99. They gave me the 89. So we're going to take what we got. One of my favorite cards this year, WBC Team USA, Trey Turner, batting over 424 homers. But it's an all-switch hitting team. So we'll go Class A in the bullpen. No switch hitters here. Kerry Wood, my fourth starting pitcher on the team. Lindor. Am I a broken record? Does anybody know what that saying means anymore? Francisco Lindor, I would have loved his 99 overall version. Instead, we get the live series, the 87, but I guess that's okay. And we do need another lefty in the bullpen. Boom, there's lefty Josh Hader. It's weird seeing him in an Astros uniform. Walker Bueller, 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 going to be my fifth and final starting pitcher. Billy Wagner going to be my fourth lefty in the pen. So this team, I mean, we got four lefties, four righties in the bullpen. We have an all-diamond Starting rotation with three 99 overalls. I'm hoping there's a switch hitter in this round. There is not. So we have seven rounds left. I guess technically six because this one doesn't really count to get three switch hitters. We're going to see what happens. Lou Brock draft him right there. No switch hitter here. I'm going to go Lars Newbar. Probably one of, if not the best outfielders currently in the MLB. Totally not a biased Cardinals fan. There's Chili Davis. We have four rounds after this to get two switch hitters for an all switch hitting starting lineup for this BR team. We don't have a switch hitter right here. I'll grab the Nelson Cruz card. Okay, they're cutting it close. After this, we literally have two rounds left to get two switch hitters. And I'm going to grab... I don't know, man. I don't really want to use anybody because I want to try to get an all-switch ending team. So there's Carlos Correa. Please give me a switch hitter. No. Maybe if we do play some BR tomorrow, which I'm kind of thinking I want to, even if we don't hit 100 likes on this video, I'm kind of feeling like I just want to play some BR anyways. This is kind of giving me the itch. But I think we might have to draft until we do get that all-switch hitting team because we got some switch hitters, but we didn't have a full lineup. And I almost want to try a full lineup of all diamond switch hitters in this little bit of a new battle royale here in MLB The Show. But I hope you all enjoyed today's video. It's been a minute since we hopped on and did anything on MLB 23. I'm really interested to see if there's any interest out there for MLB 23 videos as we're almost, I think, three weeks away from Thursday night will be when early access starts for MLB 24. But I really hope you all did enjoy the video. And I will see you in tomorrow's daily upload. Thank you as always for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Appreciate y'all rocking with me even at this point in the year. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.